More and more people are opting to switch up their boozy beverage of choice and grab a hard cider, and many are reaching for the distinctive and fun varieties of Angry Orchard. So, what should you know before you pop the top on your next bottle of Angry Orchard? According to Angry Orchard, the name comes from the fact that the very best apples for cider making look, well, angry. When they started exploring orchard after orchard across the US, Italy, and France, they found that the best cider apples were nothing like the ones you'd find at the grocery store. While we might prize smooth, round, flawless apples for eating, good cider apples are often tart and a little bitter, and less than perfectly formed. Some of these apples stay on the tree a little bit longer. They develop more complex aromas and higher sugar. The first bite might be with your eye, but since there's no need for them to look pretty, it's fine for cider apples to be gnarly. It just goes to show that it's what's on the inside that counts. Angry Orchard ciders might come in the perfect size bottle for cracking open and drinking on the back porch, but they're not exactly like a beer, save two important ways, the alcohol content and the calorie count. Angry Orchard is about 5% ABV, and that's pretty middle of the road for beer. It's also fairly high in calories, with each bottle landing around 190 calories. That adds up pretty quickly if you plan on having one or two in the evening. For comparison, stouts have an average of 210 calories, lagers are usually around 170, and pale ales are around 180. But according to Angry Orchard cider maker David Sipes, they look at it more like they're making wine. That's because apples pick up characteristics, like bitterness, sweetness, and acidity, based on the environment they're raised in. It's a concept more popularly associated with grapes and winemaking, and that's no coincidence. The process is pretty much the same, and hard cider is basically fermented apple juice, in the same way wine is fermented grape juice. When it comes to Angry Orchard, the flavors they're looking for in some of their apple varieties can only come from overseas, and that means you might be drinking a beverage that's traveled a long, long way. Some varieties are made with American apples. According to David Sipes, their seasonal varieties, like elderflower and sinful apple, are made with all American apples, along with their green apple. But if you start getting other kinds, you're getting something a little more international. Iceman, Strawman, Apple Ginger, Traditional Dry, and Crisp Apple are all made from apples imported from Italy and France. Do you like apples? How do you like them apples? <laughs> when it came time to really swing into high gear making Angry Orchard, cider maker David Sipes told The Street that it was a culmination of 15 years' worth of work researching techniques and perfecting recipes. They weren't just doing it on their own, either. They were consulting with some of the best. That included Alan Tringham, a cider expert who had been in the business for more than 50 years and spent his career working with Bulmers, a cider brand known as Magners in the US. Tringham started working with ciders right out of school. That's decades of valuable, practical experience behind every bottle of Angry Orchard. Sadly, Tringham passed away in 2012, but his legacy can still be seen at Bulmers and at Angry Orchard. And that's a pretty cool thing to leave behind. Not all Angry Orchard bottles that have hit shelves have been enjoyed, and in 2015, they issued a voluntary recall of several batches of their crisp apple. The problem? The cider was beginning to re-ferment in the bottle. According to the news release, there was absolutely no health risk or danger associated with drinking the cider. The problems could potentially happen when the buildup of carbonization inside the bottle increased the pressure too much, and it could cause bottles to explode or overflow when opened. Angry Orchard is delicious right out of the bottle, especially on a hot afternoon. But if you're not using it to mix into cocktails, you're seriously missing out. What kind of things are we talking about? How about mixing up a cocktail using crisp apple, a shot of bourbon, and then a dash of honey and lemon? Angry Orchard is the perfect base for some delicious fall cocktails, no matter what the season actually is outside. Get a pumpkin spice fix with crisp apple, a shot of rum, a dash of pumpkin spice syrup, and a squeeze of lemon juice. You can make versions of some of your old favorites, too. Use crisp apple with an ounce of bourbon, a dash of sweet vermouth, a dash of honey, and a few slices of orange and a cherry or two for a new take on an old-fashioned. Or just keep it simple. Add a shot of fireball, peach schnapps, or vanilla vodka for something that'll warm you up right. If you're a huge fan of Angry Orchard, there's only one place you need to go their 60-acre orchard in Walden, New York. It's been a farm since the 1700s and an apple orchard for around 100 years. And it's way more than just a place to go take a tour of the facility. The fun starts with their treehouse tours, a regularly scheduled tour that takes visitors through the orchard and into their treehouse, built by the treehouse masters from Animal Planet for guided tastings. Plan your trip right and you'll be there when they're hosting other events too. 
From live music to fundraisers for causes like Breast Cancer Awareness Month, there's trivia nights, game nights, barbecues, and there's even the occasional yoga class. It's so much more than just drinking cider. Although you can do that too, of course. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite drinks are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.